the healing power of thankfulness and gifting. Here is a concrete art activity which links creativity and social emotional well-being. This art activity aims to help us reintegrate ourselves and connect socially. Called the thankfulness portrait, the challenge is to choose someone, any living being, who is special to you, who you can portray using images, symbols and words to convey both the character of that special someone and your own thankfulness. Research tells us that the impact of stress can be found deep within us, shrinking our brains, adding fat to our bellies, even unraveling our chromosomes. Both Robert Sapolsky's baboon studies and Michael Marmot's Whitehall studies of British civil servants point to the need for a society that allows people to flourish. And one of the powerful lessons is that social affiliation is very powerful and that giving rather than receiving can create a world with less stress. If we reflect on who we are personally thankful for during troubled or stressful times, it can help us reintegrate with our holistic selves and enable us to look beyond the present moment with its stresses and anxiety. When we gift our artwork, it can help us reintegrate socially, thus counteracting the social disconnection, the isolation that can occur because of stress and anxiety. The Thankfulness Portrait Art Activity You will need any art materials you have at hand any art materials that you're comfortable using. How long will this take? Depending on your art materials and your personal style, this project may take between 45 and 90 minutes. Here's part one. Who are you going to thank? Reflect on who your personal heroes are at the present time. Choose one. This person must be someone you know in real life. Many of my students consider their pets to be their special heroes because during COVID lockdowns, they relied on their pets as their most constant companion. Others chose friends, siblings, parents or grandparents. Who will you choose? Art Inspiration Study the artist examples in this video for ideas about how to combine words and symbols in a picture of someone. If you know other artists who can give you inspiration, feel free to use them instead. Reflect on the connections between the style of your inspo artist and the portrait you plan to make. Check that you have everything you need before starting your planning sketches. Do you have a picture or photo of your hero? What clothes do you want them wearing in your portrait? What other objects or symbols will be in the portrait? Try writing the words you think you might use in your portrait to express your thankfulness. Now make some quick sketches to work out what your portrait will look like. If you're happy with your sketches, I think it's a good idea to photograph them. And then this is the end of part one. Part two, you're now ready to make your thankfulness portrait of your personal hero. Trust your creativity and imagination. Put your love and thankfulness into the work while you're making it. Try to reconnect with your inner child because they know how to express feelings through art. Choose any art media you like. It could be paint, collage, pastels, color pencils, graphite pencils, marker pens, digital painting apps, plasticine, photo montage, free choice. When you have finished, reflect on what you felt and learned during the project. Maybe you want to make a short audio message or a short video message to share your experience with others. Now photograph your artwork before you give it to your special person. My belief is that this thankfulness portrait project can help with strengthening a person's connectedness, both internal and external, 
by counteracting the disconnection that can result from anxiety and stress during troubling times. By reflecting on our social-emotional connections and reflecting on our positive feelings towards others in our life, and then acting on those thoughts and feelings through art-making and gifting, the project can be an antidote to disconnection and an antidote to the rabbit hole of inward-looking thoughts and feelings.